All right, check one, two. Check, 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 check. Good morning, kids. I am excited this morning to talk to you about another image that Jesus uses to explain our life with him. So we've talked about a plank. Plank, piece of wood, sticking out of their eyeball. I hope I don't give myself a splinter. We've talked about salt. Grab your salt shaker. Yep, it's about to get salty. And this morning, we're gonna talk about a seed, a wee little bitty seed. All right, so Jesus is using what's called a parable. This is a little picture of what it's like in heaven using a picture or a story. In this case, it's the picture of a seed. Let's read. This is Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 and 32. Here we go. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all your seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. So real quick, mustard seed? I bet you're thinking of something like this. One variation of the mustard plant is the kind of stuff that makes the stuff we put on hot dogs. So yes, my, my kids are more of ketchup fans. Pretty sure my son could drink ketchup like by itself. I don't think anyone would wanna do that with mustard, right? Anyway, so the seed that is the mustard seed is a tiny thing, I don't have one. So I thought what I would do is translate this a little bit for our ecosystem and use another image. So this is kind of like what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying that the kingdom of heaven is like a seed. Now this is an acorn. Does anybody know what kind of tree an acorn grows into? You've guessed it, an oak. Yes, this mighty oak tree behind me, I believe it's a red oak, came from this. So guys, just take a look. Isn't that hard to believe? That this can make that? Let me show you. So guys, I just want you to know that if this much, and really Jesus is using something even smaller, but if this much, a seed amount of the kingdom of heaven can grow into a gigantic monumental behemoth of a tree, I think that should give us a lot of hope. So Jesus is giving us encouragement, guys, that an unlikely small amount of something can make something big. You know, Jesus elsewhere talks about the image, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, if you have a mustard seed amount of faith, that you can move mountains. So again, Jesus using this image of a little bitty seed, much smaller than this, by the way, to say if you've got that much, what you really have is that much. That's what God and his love and his kingdom is like. So kids, if you feel some days like all you got is this and you're not feeling like this, just remember that that's kind of what the kingdom of heaven is like. And it can grow and grow and grow in your heart and become something strong and beautiful and amazing. So guys, let the kingdom of God like this seed take root in our hearts and let us become strong and beautiful where even birds can take refuge in it, so to speak. That's the kind of growth we can experience with God when we let the kingdom of heaven grow in our hearts. So kids, if you're the indoor type, why don't you take out a piece of paper, some crayons, and or markers or something else to draw with 
and why don't you draw a seed? It could be a seed of your favorite fruit. It could be a seed of your favorite tree. I want you to draw that seed. And then next to that, draw it small. And then next to that, I want you to draw the big and beautiful thing it can become. And bury this image, plant this image in your mind when you think of God, His love, and His kingdom. If it happens to be a good day and you have your parents' permission and you're not much of a stay in the house kind of person, why don't you go outside and find the coolest seed you can find and try to see what plant it grows into. So kids, let us cherish the images Jesus gives us and may we take heart and take hope in them. The kingdom of heaven is like a seed that grows into something mighty. Let that seed grow in you, my brothers and sisters. All right, Godspeed, and I hope you guys have a rest of a great morning.